So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the $25 shopping spree. Now I know what you're thinking, Eliza, you can't go on a shopping spree for $25. Oh yes, you can. And you want to know how? The power of the gift card. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's set the scene, shall we? It was 2021. My husband and I had just moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and I love gift cards. I happen to ask for them quite often, pretty much every Christmas and every time I have my birthday. So at this time, I just happened to have not one, not two, but six different gift cards between me and my husband. And so we saved them all and we're like, you know what? We're going on a shopping spree. And that is exactly what we did. So we had gift cards from Forever 21, one of my personal favorite stores, Victoria's Secret, cause you know what? A girl needs underwear and bras, okay? Then we had Amazon, some generic Visa gift cards, a Dunkin' Donuts gift card, and a Burger King gift card. Boy, can I work with that. I could do some serious damage with that, and I did. So we went on over to the Perimeter Mall and we made sure we hit every single store that we had gift cards for because I personally made sure of it. Because when I have a gift card and there's a store nearby, especially if we're at a mall, because usually they have all those stores, trust me, I'm gonna make sure every gift card is used. And I did. And again, at the end of it all, we only paid $25. And you wanna know what the grand total of the whole spending spree was if it wasn't for those gift cards? $320.89. Yes, you heard that right. And just in case you didn't, I'm gonna say it one more time. The total price of that whole shopping spree was $320.89 and we only paid about $25. Because you know what? The hack to shopping is you go with the gift card and you go to the clearance rack because that is my favorite place in every store. Go to the clearance rack and make sure you get all your little items there, search for the sales and you know, you see what you find. Because I believe even one of the stores we went to that we didn't have a gift card specifically for, we went to Air Apostle. I got three t-shirts, I believe for the price of one, because they had a buy two get one free or buy one get two free discount, which was amazing. I love it. I think my husband also bought some pants, but he paid out of pocket for those. And it was a great freaking day. And you know what? Forever 21, I had what? I had a $100 gift card and I got a, a mint green jacket. I got pink yoga pants. I got a pair of ripped jeans, a pair of nude wedge heels. And I believe that was it. But again, four items for $100. And I might have been even another item or two because knowing me again, I shot the deals. And that's not even the only time I've had a story similar to that. I remember another time I had about a hundred dollar gift card to Forever 21 as well. And I'm pretty sure almost every item I bought was roughly $10 and I believe I got eight, eight items. So again, your girl here knows how to shop. But anyway, so next time for when you go on a shopping spree, make sure you ask for those gift cards because trust me, they will save you so much money. It's, it's girl math, haven't you heard of it? If you get a gift card and you only spend $5 on the item out of pocket in cash, credit card, whatever, the item only costs $5. It didn't cost that plus the gift card. The gift card is free money. So next time you're gonna go get yourself a gift card, ask for it for Christmas, for your birthday, or even if you're like, hey, I've been doing a good job. You wanna help me celebrate? Get a gift card. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the clearance rack. You're gonna make sure there's some sales, even if there's only some online sales, but probably should go in person because we don't wanna pay those shipping costs. But anyway, again, and that is the story of the $25 shopping spree. Wouldn't everyone love to have that kind of story? I know, right? So again, those are your tips for today.
and make sure you take note and uh, go get penny pinching. See you next time. And make sure if you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you also hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified of the next time a video is posted. Bye.